Thank you, Bob. Uh, it's my honor to present the Joshua Boger Innovative School of the Year Award, presented each year to a school with outstanding education programming in the life sciences. Again, we have a very deserving uh, recipient this year in Hingham High School. Hingham joins a very long uh, list of past winners, including Diamond Regional Vocational Tech last year from uh, Fall River Barnstable High School as well. In addition to getting a very nice plaque this, uh, this afternoon, uh, Hingham High School will also receive a uh, grant award from Mass Bioed in the amount of $5,000 to support their continued activity in the life sciences. Uh, before asking uh, Libby Cates uh, from Hingham High to come forward to accept the award, on, uh, a couple thank yous. On behalf of uh, our board of directors at Mass Bioed Foundation, I want to thank Mass Bio, its members, uh, and our many partners in industry, uh, including uh, the Mass Life Sciences Center, uh, for their support for the Mass Bioed mission. We know that student learning and science improves with hands on lab based activities. In this school year, through our BioTeach program, we'll be providing training on biotech lab lessons to over 150 high school teachers from over 100 high schools around Massachusetts. Engaging these teachers and giving them the confidence to present lab-based lessons will enable them to bring these lessons, this instruction, to an additional 10,000 students in Massachusetts in this academic year. Um, through the introduction of these labs, we also hope to help inspire these students to continue with their learning in the life sciences and to create awareness among these students about college and career opportunities in the life sciences. We work uh, this year with 16 amazing life sciences companies and three universities uh, in providing career and college exploration experiences for about 700 students. Uh, so it's an incredible partnership with our organization, number of companies, universities, and it doesn't end uh, with those activities uh, for uh, many BioTeach schools. Uh, thanks to the support of the Mass Life Sciences Center, Thermal Fisher, and many other corporate supporters, we also will provide in this academic year, about $130,000 in needed lab supplies and equipment to buy teach schools. Uh, all of these activities uh, are provided at no cost to participating uh, students, teachers, and schools. It's all supported by you, uh, the companies that support uh, Mass BioEd. And so we want to thank you for that support. There's much more work that needs to be done. Uh, and so we're always looking for additional support. Uh, and we do have a, a table outside in the exhibit area, and we invite those who are not engaged yet with Mass BioEd to learn more about our various giving and volunteer opportunities. Uh, we need your help. Um, now on to our award. There are many truly inspiring stories to tell about how your support for our BioTeach program has helped change the way the life sciences are taught in many Massachusetts schools. We're about to hear one of those stories now. It all starts in the classroom with a great teacher empowered to deliver inquiry-based instruction in the life sciences to students who are eager to learn. It all starts in a school like Hingham High School. So please join me in welcoming Libby Cates, representing Hingham High School, this year's Joshua Boger Innovative School of the Year Award winner. Thank you. Hingham High School is extremely proud to accept the Joshua Boger Innovative School of the Year Award today. We are honored to receive this award for biotechnology being implemented into the classroom and continuing to explore hands-on work being provided in all of our classrooms. 
Back in 2009, Hingham High applied for a grant to purchase supplies and equipment. This helped us to get things rolling. As we were able to build on experiences of attending BioTeach workshops, it allowed for us to utilize the expansive BioTeach curriculum and for establishing innovative biotechnology education and develop student interest that leads to career possibilities. We are extremely fortunate to have the strong support of Principal Dr. Paula Gerard McCann and Department Chair Katie Roberts. A few years ago, I had proposed the idea to Katie of adding a biotechnology course elective. The proposal was approved, and so we've had great success in providing unique opportunities for our students. These students have gone on to remarkable programs, including genomics and biomedical engineering. Other students have earned career-changing internships because of their background gain in biotechnology class at the high school level. One of these students has been part of Dr. Guillermo Ortiz's Fish Life Project, which is a collaboration with George Washington University, the Smithsonian, and a few other universities. The goal of the project is to build a phylogeny for all fish. And she often sends me messages of her work photographing uh, preserved fish collections at the Smithsonian, running genomic DNA gels, where she often reminds me her pipetting skills developed in freshman bio come in very handy, and to quantify her DNA samples uh, to be sent out and sequenced. Over the summer, she recently worked on DNA barcoding, again, another topic we discussed in class. She's done lots of PCR and the Sanger sequencing in the Smithsonian's Molecular Lab at the National History Museum. Another former student has now earned a research associate position at the Broad Institute in the epigenomics program. Our goal at the genomics program, she states, is to apply patient-based studies where cell count is low. So this is just a couple examples, but our students are intrigued and often driven with their hands-on experiences in the classroom, and they continue to build. In the classroom, students are exposed to new technologies and have opportunity to practice using micro pipettes at the freshman level, run gel electrophoresis, and also to run PCR. The widespread range of students gaining from the Mass BioEd Foundation and the PioTeach program runs from AP Biology all the way down to the freshman level. Our students are gaining opportunities on the front line and embracing 21st century skills needed for the world today. All of the biology students learn how to use the equipment, so that starts off at the freshman and sophomore level. They've gone through many labs and have learned a lot of the vocabulary that they hear in the news. Our students have included uh, running transformation labs, analyzing polymorphisms using PCR, and running many gels. Students value the opportunity to learn from hands-on practices. At Hingham High, our staff works diligently to provide as many ways to engage the students using inquiry-driven lessons. This challenges them to open their minds and ask further questions. On behalf of my colleagues, we are extremely grateful to the Mass BioEd Foundation and the BioTeach program for allowing us to inspire so many students for the next generation. Thank you very much. I also have with me two students. Um, both students have taken uh, the classes um, where all of this has been uh, utilized. And so the first student speaker that we have is Emma Chase. Hello, my name is Emma Chase, and I'm a junior at Hingham High School. Sciences have always been part of my curriculum, but my love for the subject truly started in ninth grade when I took biology freshman year. Looking back to high school sciences, many of you will remember dissecting a frog or learning about the human skeleton. Hingham High School has offered me 10 times that. One of my favorite times was learning about the heart through a life-size model that we could take apart and then assemble back together. We used compound light microscopes to look at bacteria, muscle cells, and plants. And thanks to grants from the Mass BioEd and the BioTeach programs, our classes made and used gels to form electrophoresis with micropipettes and this is just freshman year. Right now, I'm in Mrs. Kate's biotechnology class. When I was selecting courses last year, this one was the only class I was really sure about taking because I knew I would love it. We performed more labs this year than I did in my freshman and sophomore classes combined. And the school year isn't even over yet. One of my favorite labs is a transformation lab. We changed bacteria, E. coli, 
So a green fluorescent protein was activated and visible. We made bacteria glow. Mm -hmm. Throughout the experiment, we used micropipettes to measure out components, the centrifuge to separate our components, and incubation techniques to get our colonies to actually grow and glow, which is really cool. Labs like this can relate to the medical field, for example. Creating bacteria that can produce insulin could help in the medical world for patients with deficiencies like diabetes. The labs we have been able to do are not only interesting, but provide a better, a better understanding for the use of biotechnology in the everyday world. We performed a lab with PCR, polymerase chain reaction, where we analyzed polymorphisms at the D1-S80 region of chromosome 1. I learned that I was heterozygous at D1-S80, meaning I had inherited different alleles from each of my parents, while my classmate was homozygous and had only one allele from one parent. This experience increased my understanding of how truly unique everyone is and how lucky I was to find out part of my genome with just three other classmates of mine by my side. This world of science fascinates me. As a girl who does not love English and history, the hands-on experience I've had has convinced me to pursue sciences, specifically biology, as part of my future. While frog dissections, electro gel electrophoresis, and PCR kept me busy in the first couple years of high school, it is just the beginning for me as I hope to take anatomy and physiology as well as AP biology during my final year at Hingham High. I feel confident that with my background in science from Hingham High School, accompanied by my, by my abilities in using micropipettes, electrophoresis, and other lab essential skills, I will be fully prepared as I aspire to enter the medical world. Considering my future, my teachers like to tell me to take this year in biotechnology, multiply it by 10, so wish me luck. <laughs> but truly, our science department has that much more to offer because Mass BioEd has given us the opportunity to really excel. This is when I would like to personally thank Mass BioEd Foundation and the BioTeach program because the experience I had has generally impacted my education and fueled my drive to put this experience to use in the medical world. I only hope that this exper experience <laughs> can reach other students with the same passion and excitement for sciences as bi in biotechnology. I am not alone in my gratitude, and on behalf of the science enthusiasts, or as my friends like to call, call us science geeks, at Hingham High School, we are proud to represent a program with such great opportunities. Thank you so much for listening and for supporting me and my high school for the past eight years. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Connor Lothar, and I'm a senior at Hingham High School. I'm extremely honored for this opportunity to speak before all of you today. And I would like to thank Mass BioEd and BioTeach programs, along with my principal, Dr. Paula Gerard McCann, and my biology and biotechnology teacher, Ms. Cates, all of whom contributed to me standing before you today. Hingham High School's biology and biotechnology programs have opened doors for me that made me a more well-rounded student. My love for biology and biotechnology specifically developed freshman year as I entered advanced biology with Ms. Cates. Throughout the year, my classmates and I ran numerous labs that both my parents and I were shocked that I was able to take part in. These labs were all made possible through the BioTeach program. We used lab-grade pipettes throughout the year and also gained experience running electrophoresis labs. We studied electrophoresis by making it ourselves and then using it within that day's lab. We also explored how real scientists use these same procedures to study genes. In bio, the BioTeach curriculum, also helped promote our studies on DNA and protein synthesis. These opportunities that MassBio and BioTeach granted Hingham were the sparks that set my future in biotechnology in motion. Following biology, I applied for a summer bioengineering camp at Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken, New Jersey. I was accepted largely due to Hingham's advanced science program and the experience I had gained in my advanced biology class. This week-long camp included lectures on how biology and engineering collided together in research and healthcare fields. BioTeach made me a strong and experienced student, which led me to Stevens, and it supported my ambition to study biotechnology and biology more deeply. Finally, junior year, I took biology for the 21st century. This class was instituted in 2012 by Hingham, and it further developed my interest for biology as my class got to work hand in hand with procedures and techniques still being developed by modern scientists. One example is PCR. 
My classmates and I worked with lab-grade centrifuges and developed amplified DNA. We were also fortunate enough to study cellular DNA uptake, or transformation, by using E. coli bacteria and giving it a fluorescent phenotype under a UV light. Along with this, I also had the opportunity to further develop my skills using electrophoresis. By studying various formulas, we could adapt our gels to the experiment, and by the end of the year, we were familiar with several different gel types, and we were confident using them. Without the funds that MassBio and BioTeach granted to my school, I would have never been able to develop such a passion for biology and its applications in the real world. For this, I am forever grateful. Thank you.